Hey guys, today we get to talk about another princess card. We have Nyssa, voice of Zendikar. Very good, uh, obviously it combos off well with some of the new A for Revolt cards and my top five combos. One of my favorite combos was playing this card and then there's a card that costs three and a green and it draws, you draw a card for every creature with a plus one plus one counter on it, which is very good. A lot of the cards in A for Revolt care about if they have plus one plus one counters. The other good combo is the snake. The snake adds additional one additional plus one plus one counter. So every time you pump up your team, it's not just one plus one plus one counter, it's two plus one plus one counters, which is very, very OP. So when we talk about this card, yes, it was reprinted. And yes, its low was pretty recent. December 15th, it was $5.28. Now it is $13.49. It's about $10 for the dual deck version and $16 for the pre-release, almost $17. So the card is very, very good. And as a philosophy thing, if you buy Planeswalkers at $5 and they're not named Obnixilis and they're not named Tailbolt, they have the chance to go up. And one of my experiences with this was Jace AOT. I bought so many Jace AOTs and he went up to $20. There was an announcement that he would be reprinted and then he went down to 10. But Planeswalkers at $5, because you have to understand Planeswalkers are mythic. They're inherently playable in ED8s most of the time. And lastly, people like trading for them. Casual players will trade for them. So if you have a $5 Planeswalker, that to me is probably a lot better than a $5 whatever staple in, in standard it will be because I know that at the end of the day, no matter what happens, the card will be around 4 or $5 uh, and there will be people, there will be demand, the card will be liquid and it, it makes a lot of sense to me. The one thing I would say is the big knock on Nissa preventing her price from really skyrocketing is there's still so many of those dual decks around that if she does become a tier one, I mean, at $13 or $10 to open a dual deck and you get half your value from one card, that's pretty good. I've also seen those dual decks on sale uh, for multiple online vendors for $14.99. So there's other good stuff in it, right? There's $5 of other stuff in it. There's also an Obnix list, which again, is not the greatest point walker. So that kind of puts a cap on her price, uh, just similar to how Jace AOT um, they had Veraska at the time, and Veraska was the same price as Ob Nixless. Good card. I like it a ton. It definitely is seeing more play due to A for Revolt. Uh, tokens, plus one, plus one tokens in particular, matter a great deal in this set. Therefore, the Planeswalker that can provide it for your whole team will do well. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Are you guys excited for Nissa? I'm very excited. I'm always excited when I see one of these cards. Uh, that were reprinted go back on price because it's not easy to do and at the end of the day there's always a cap because you can always buy a, a dual deck and open one of these there's so many dual decks of this uh out there uh, nissa versus obnix list just so many anyway it, it might be worth buying it if you don't have your nissas right just buy them online for 15 dollars a piece and get a play set of everything that's in the deck anyway leave me a comment below Bye, guys.